So now I have connected the unit uh, into my studio and it's running. I can show you how the editor looks like. I'm starting the editor now, loading quite fast and there we have it. So this uh, editor is really, really handy and uh, some of the multi-effect devices uh, have been struggling with doing it. I really like it, uh, what Harley Benton did. And as you can see, you have really simple setup here. The, these are all the effects. You can uh, switch them on and off. So these are the stun boxes. The first is the wah pedals and compressors, two compressors here. The second is uh, for distortion or overdrive pedals. We have 20 of them. You can see uh, all the modeling uh, originals in the manual. Then we have amps here, which are 55 different amp models. If you want to take a, a model, for example, this is the Marshall uh, J800. If you switch it on and take a cabinet, he's automatically taking the Marshall 4x12, which is uh, a good combination for this amp. Then we have three noise gates, four different equalizers, then we have modulation effects here, nine different delay effects and reverb effects. I will show you the sounds of those units later in the later videos. What's nice is you can uh, switch the cabinet simulation on and off here, as I understood it, and also switch the expression pedal on and off and make some uh, adjustment to what should expression pedal control, if it's volume or some of those sound boxes or some of the parameters. Uh, this is quite handy, uh, this cap sim through, because you can use, for example, one output you can use as a signal without cap simulation. So if you're running into a real cap, you don't have to turn it on. And the other one uh, can go in uh, into the front of the house. So there is a simulation on it. As you can see, there is input level. This is a screen adjustment, the screen brightness and OTG output, which is for mobile devices. You can adjust it also here. Fantastic is uh, possibility of the backup. You can uh, make your own presets and then back it up here. And also recall, which means uh, all you have saved, you can recall it and use it again. So if you are uh, working on a different set list, you can uh, program it and then uh, turn, uh, you can load one project into the unit and maybe later a different project. And you can reset, which means that the, the whole unit will be uh, in the factory mode, in the original mode. So uh, it's really good how this unit reacts. And as you can see, the, these are 200 different presets. If I want to rename the preset, I just go here and uh, write down. Then I press here, save, and it's saved. You can uh, copy this preset and uh, put it on the second position or you can clear it again. So this is really nice how uh, this works. I have a few uh, tips for the, the developers of this unit. <laughs> I'm not a, a programmer myself, but as a user, I would like to have a, uh, undo button somewhere here. So if I made some changes and don't like it so I could go back Then I would like to have a smaller reaction of this knob So sometimes it's really fiddling around how you can preset this for the sake of the better uh, Organizing here. I would like to have some folders maybe where I could uh, in this section when I could uh, make my presets for clean, for overdriven, for effects, whatever. This would be very nice. And unfortunately, I didn't get it how to program this expression pedal. I maybe need some, some easier way to do it. Maybe this would be the good way to make some changes. And uh, when I'm talking about revert parameters, uh, it would be nice to have some better orientation maybe in seconds how long is the decay 
for example. And also by delays, uh, for me it would be nice to have not just milliseconds, but also BPM, because when I'm working with a project, I know BPM and I don't have to uh, recount it to the milliseconds, that would be easier. But anyway, we have tap tempo uh, button, which uh, works fine also. Okay, this was the editor video and we are going on with some sounds. <laughs> 